Today is the day before the convocation. Today is actually Friday and we came for rehearsals just to know what we're going to do for tomorrow. So if you are new here, you're highly welcome. I'm Revanova and if you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I am super grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, so basically I am at the venue which I'm going to obviously show you guys what it looks like and they're just setting up and ah, I'm so happy and grateful to God because this was a journey I can't lie it first started as a joke like when I mean as a joke I found out about this program in 2016 when I went to Corona Secondary School just to get my certificate and stuff so I wanted to get something and then I heard that Corona had you know opened their own College of Education and I was like are you serious that's so cute but I never thought of, you know, being a student in the school. I never even thought of even thinking about it. I was like, okay, they have, I'm so happy for their wins. I felt like, you know, Corona is growing and make sure maybe one day they will open a university if they have gotten like a, what, um, college of education. So I was like, okay, yeah, they're growing. In 2019, I now finally, you know, thought of it. Something came up thanks to one very fine human being that you guys already saw this video <laughs> anyways um we started talking about you know looking at other options thinking of places to go to and i was like okay and he we talked about you know for us to like you know just get ourselves why don't we just do a diploma program and the only thing i could think of at that point in time was getting an educational diploma so PDE came up. I started making inquiries. I remembered Corona. In fact, I was like, you know, even if I have to do this, it has to be like education, something that was not in tech because everybody was just like, oh, you know, you can do tech. They were like referrals for tech. And I was like, you know what, I'll do something else. And PDE came up. One day I was just lying down and then I remember that, oh, Corona has a college of education that they do this. So I went online, I went to find out, I called some people that used to be in Corona as well and then they now, you know, told me. I called in, I asked what was the price, it was really affordable at the time, so I was like, okay, how long is this program? And they're like, nine months, <laughs> and I was like, okay, and then, okay, the thing about it was, initially I felt like, is it going to, it was too long, but then later I was like, you know what, let's, let's just do it, nine months is going to go like that. So I started this journey in basically 2019, October thereabouts, and it was fun. I got to meet a lot of people. I got to know a lot of things about education. We met different lecturers, you know, and then I got to understand child psychology. I got to understand sociology. In fact, so many things about, you know, children, not just education now, but about children. So like, it's basically about human beings in fact i met a lot of people along the way i met very good people in fact just being in corona was a very good experience for me because i met really good lecturers both here people that are making it in education we make education feel like you know it's useless in this country you can't do anything with it but like i saw another part of education i feel like coming for this program i now got to understand the school system because of course they taught us mainly about management, psychology, sociology, there were different things and they taught us everything about 
education in general. So we understood so many things. I feel like this program, eh, oh my god, I can't lie. It was fun. It was interesting. It was impactful. I am blown away and I'm so happy that I am I came to Corona because the truth is they pampered us even during Corona, um, corona came, COVID came and it was an, an amazing experience. It felt like we didn't even stop learning. We kept on learning, they changed us to virtual learning, they made sure immediately they had done our customized emails, they made us go to classes, the assignments were still there, they did like tests online. It felt like we didn't even miss out on anything. I will recommend this program to anybody who wants to branch out into education or even if you just even want to open a school, you want to, you know, be involved in the educational sector in Nigeria, trust me, like this is the best program. I feel like, okay, there was no stress. When I mean stress, stress of, you know, lecture stressing you out or assignment stress. The stress wasn't there at all. And yes, the pampering us in love. That's what in fact, I know that that's what almost everybody says that oh, the pamper us in love. There were times where they actually changed the exam dates just because of some people that were they shall just pampered us a lot and it made education clear very easy. Like they really made education very easy. I am so grateful for my deans and lecturers, Mr. Modi, because <laughs> I can't lie, he was my project supervisor and he was very supportive all the way. And trust me, it was a very nice experience. I can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is the D day. So yeah, tomorrow. So yeah. Very excited. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. This was it. Maro. It was right here. Maro. So today we're going to be asking Maro a couple of questions. Okay. Let me first show you guys what's happening. First of all, they are you know setting up and everything. So this is the setup for tomorrow, guys. Look at this. So they're just setting up and stuff. So let's ask Maro a couple of questions. Maro, tell us your corona experience. Mm. Can I, can, can, I, my whole experience can probably fill a book. It's, um, it's a lot. It's a lot, but I'll start from somewhere. It's Corona literally changed how I perceived education and how I thought education was supposed to be uh, carried out. Um, doing this program seriously was a blessing because um, I was reoriented on a lot of things, on a lot of issues and um, how they approached everything. Even during the um, pandemic, you know, how they switched us over to virtual learning in like, it was very fast. How they dealt with problems, like they just teach you how to like deal with real life problems quickly, really, really fast. How they trained um, less of the lecturers, were not tech friendly they made them tech friendly all of a sudden and you know they were able to were able to like still go on with the program even during the pandemic during that serious you know that first scary lockdown that the whole world was like hmm but corona lecture, got our back yeah they got our back like the lectures were still able to go on and that really 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 changed a part of me because i was like okay these people are really 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 serious the education is really really serious business you know, coupled with all the assignments, you know, accessibility to lecturers, being able to call them, ask questions, very friendly environment, very conducive. Like my mom would say, they pamper you guys. Yes, they pamper us. And it's good pampering. It's not like they pamper you to the point where you get spoiled or you get lazy. You know, it was good pampering. They pampered us when they had to pamper us and they really pushed us when they needed to push us, which is the assignments, man. Assignments back to back, you know? So, it's been a blessing. I'm excited. Can't wait for tomorrow. Can't wait to get my certificate. Can't wait to get sworn, um, sworn in um, TRCN inductee right here. Yes, that's me. So, can't wait for tomorrow. Commissioner of Education, she's coming. Can't wait to see her. Like, the whole experience, man. Gaining momentum. Tomorrow, to climax. Oh, she. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. 
so I just had my bath and I'm trying to get ready for graduation. I'm also gonna do my makeup right now and all that. Um so we're supposed to be there by 8 latest 8 30 um because it starts by 10 and the commissioner of education is supposed to come and all that besides that um corona they don't do nigerian time they are always on time so <coughs> i really have to start getting ready and all that um another thing is okay you can never predict lagos traffic like we might just get ready now and next thing there's traffic mad traffic so no i don't want to risk it as well so see ya hey guys bad day just go here ah, finally guys we made it Lecturers. Thank you. 